with a uh, Yoshi. Uh, okay, so I have I, I kind of sort of secondary Roy, so I kind of understand the matchup a little bit. Yoshi has a lot of aerial presence, like an insane amount, and Egg is a huge nuisance for Roy, so. He's gonna have to rely on catching landings and using his amazing tilt and frame data. Just kind of blocks Yoshi out of any chance he gets. Uh, but Yoshi, of course, has a pretty good frame data himself. But anyway, besides besides of Roy's nair, he really doesn't have any approaching options in the yeah. air. Yeah. And then yeah. Yoshi, as you've been seeing already a couple times this game, uh, can nair out of almost everything that Roy throws out. Perp, trying to go for that uh, for more of a punish game here, waiting for Lufa to whiff things and go after that. It's a nice mash out for Perp. Pretty decent percent lead here. Also going for the raw down air neutral. Seems to be doing a whole lot just trying to put pressure on Perp, but Perp's just not having it, he's just not approaching. No, it's, it, it's just so hard to get on, get in on Yoshi, yeah. especially when you have all this short range and Yoshi can just keep you out with eggs. Good FP for Perp there. Roy's recovery not being as bad as many people think. Oh! He doesn't have a jump, but he yeah, made it safe. He didn't pressure him at all right there. Retreat to that platform. That fair on shield, not a good idea. Roy does not have oh, much safety. Oh, oh, oh but that missed up smash is going to be an F smash. Completely that is going to be stock. Oh, it is one of the more satisfying things with Roy is just the land. Yeah, that, that freeze frame is incredible. Yeah. Roy not Oh my gosh, he had that read on that F smash yeah. though. Roy's up there actually is very fun to land with because really? it hits super far behind yeah. him. You can combo off and it's super fun. A lot of nares coming off the map here. Just trying to jiggle. I'm trying to, I'm trying to juggle him as much as possible. Oh, he almost got him off stage with that egg. Oh, yeah. Her's making it pretty hard for uh, Luffy to land right now. Yeah. And now Luffy's just throwing at those down Bs. Looks like he may be trying to catch his shield. Luffy's playing very, very patient here. I want to see Perp, uh, whenever he makes oh, Luffy use his second jump, I want to see Perp pressure him a little more on that platform. Ooh, oh, that's rough. SD. That's going to be an SD. Is this just going to be the tournament of SDs? It might that's happen, not... man. It's, it's, it's still I, re I really hope that. I would like no, to. No, definitely not. No one wants, ever wants to see that. But uh, solid play coming out from uh, both players there. Uh, Perp, I really like that he's like playing very patient. Like, kind of playing how you play against Marth. Definitely. You're waiting for him to land a punch in those landings, or just generally waiting exactly. for him to win. I don't think I've ever taken that approach to the Ocean matchup. I've always just been more of a get that grab, get as much damage as possible, exactly. and just hope I don't get off stage. Exactly. Yeah, but, uh, cool. gentlemen's back to Smashville. Go! I definitely want to see uh, Luffy try to get Perp off stage. Yeah. And just try to give him a little more. So it's so easy to destroy. Yeah. So falling there, or just clipping with a down air from Yoshi. It'd be really simple. Yeah. Ro Roy's recovery is not terrible, but not amazing. It can definitely be exploited by a lot of characters. Oh! Oh my. Nair. Oh! oh it almost that could have been a spike. That would have been, 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 been a sick combo. Got that golden percent, so who knows what we'll be seeing here. Oh, and nice down, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> nice down to though. Luffy's just the number. Luffy's showing a very dominant lead. Luffy's been making. Oh, oh my god! Nice. Get that spike off the ledge versus Roy. Only 19%. Nerf's gonna have to work very hard to get this back. But Roy having a very good combo game. I would say, in terms of damage, comparable to Sheik. Was, that, was, that was about, that was almost 30% right there. Yeah. Where's Three combo, attacks. First combo game is nothing to, uh, nothing to sneeze at. Definitely. He's gonna hold him or jump in. Probably Nancy. Probably wanted to get that first stock as quickly as possible. Not one to worry about that chip damage from Yoshi's amazing pressure. Luffy's been too, doing pretty good at uh, spacing his moves too. Man. Oh! Two spikes. Another quick oh. stock. Very dominant game. Just from, over a minute too. Very dominant game from Luffy there. Definitely a. Uh, very, uh, that was fantastic. Shows his mind was in the right place during that uh, second game. So the first game didn't matter. I'll bring this back real quick. That was real nice. Very curious to see how this, uh, this third game goes because Perp, I feel like he kind of lost lost his uh, mindset there for a minute. He got a little antsy, started to start jumping around a whole lot more. And challenging Yoshi in the air is the last thing you no, want. No, most definitely. Lufa really changed up his game plan there, I think, in the second game. Yeah. And that's what uh, threw Perp off. So going, going to FD. FD, pretty solid stage for Roy. Combo game can just go insane, and you're able to catch landings pretty well, which means you can get that F smash, that up B, and usually you seal out stocks decently consistently. But Roy, one of his big issues is kind of having difficulty setting up the kills. So we'll have to see how this goes. 
And then Yoshi, Yoshi doesn't have a good job uh, juggling on the stage. There's no platform. Yeah. He could probably get maybe two up there compared to the five or six you get on Battlefield. I, I, I would imagine Egg Crush is probably not as good either. Definitely not. Because it's so easy to avoid. Yeah, it's a really good uh, counter pick for Perk, but. Questionable counter there? Yeah, definitely. Perk is starting to get that action mindset back in. Yeah, he's, he's slowing down a little bit. You know, and there's five minutes left in this game, he has, he has plenty of time to be a rusher. A lot of people have this kind of mentality that Roy is like the aggressive, but honestly, Roy, yes, he has the frame down, he has the speed to do a lot, but he doesn't have a lot that's safe. Exactly. So yeah. the big deal with Roy is it's a lot of mix-ups and it's a lot of fake-outs. Like uh, what I know is that a lot of top Roy players do is that they will uh, burn their double jump to uh, kind of tomahawk just above someone's shield uh -huh. and mix that up with falling there to get. Uh, to get yeah, Roy has a lot of mix-ups. That was a nice clean stock. Yeah, so, yeah speaking of kill confirms, getting that down me there. Yeah, it gets scary whenever uh, Perk gets the high percent, because yeah. then Kalufa can combo almost everything out of jab at high percent to kill. Jab down B, jab up smash, anything like that. So the percent difference not as bad as it was last game. 103 to 52. Perk can still bring this back. Especially whenever he starts getting that rage. Roy's oh yeah, rage. Roy with rage is absolutely monstrous. Perp's just reaching for this kill right now. It's yeah. so hard to get it. Oh, you that, could, that could have been it. That could have been it. That first hit in there leads into all of his characters. And that means uh, squeeze by Zap. Oh, great right forward tilt. Using, that, using Roy's amazing tilts to get that kill. 75%. He should be able to rack up damage pretty yeah. quick with his rage. Definitely a bit of a deficit, but Roy having that combo game, being able to get that damage real quick. And then I don't know if it's just a Roy thing. Is Roy's dancing blade not good? Uh, okay. Double H's dance is okay. The issue is that it's not true, like, uh, heart service. Really? His is, uh, faster and more of a command thing, so pretty much just faster than the money you can do it. Okay. Whereas Martha Lucina, it's slower it's and a more restrict timing, but it's true. Okay, I didn't know uh, that it wasn't true with Roy. But Roy has the chance to shield break off of his. Right, so it's so heavy hitting, happen. definitely. Yeah, the, the, down, the down variation is definitely... Very, very so I just haven't very seen uh, any dancing blade coming out from her this yeah. game, so I didn't know if that was the reason, but that definitely makes sense. It, uh, it might be mostly just because of out of shield options, because... Oh, oh, that's gonna be it, though. Fantastic. That was, a, that was a really nice set. Very good play from... Uh, so Luffa adapted yeah. there. Yeah. Real nice adaptation. Hardest of reads. Hard-boiled reads. Yeah. <laughs>